Now today I'm going to show you how to remove your vents in your um, Volkswagen uh, MK4. Okay, now this I have here is a uh, 2004 uh, Volkswagen Golf. Okay, first what you want to do is you want to take a flat screwdriver. Okay, now I put some electrical tape on the end of it so it wouldn't scratch any of the dash. Okay, now insert it into the side there and simply pry the vent out. Now behind these vents, as you can see, it's a little harder to get it out. Okay, now see, out. Now behind these vents are a torque bit that is right there. Okay, now you have to remove that torque bit on the driver's side and the center ones. Okay, now the passenger side one, it comes out, the whole assembly comes out without removing any torque bits at all. Okay, now next on to the middle one to move the vents out. As you can see, that's out. And that one is removed. Now it's hard to see in there, but there is actually a torque bit in there and in there. Okay, now to remove the passenger side. Actually, you don't really need a, a, a screwdriver to remove the passenger side one. So let me tilt the vent down so you can grab on the outside here and rock back and forth. And it's out just like that. As you can see inside. Okay, now next step would be removing your uh, your headlight switch, okay? Now all you have to do is push the switch itself in, twist clockwise, and then pull out. And you have to simply unplug the harness. Now when you turn this on, now you're gonna have to turn your lights back on, otherwise they will stay on, like so. As you can see, I've already unplugged the wiring harness from the rear of the uh, headlight switch. Now, as you can see, there will be a um, tab you have to depress on each side, which I can show you here on the harness itself. As you can see, it's right there and right there. And you just have to pull back and it comes right out, no problem at all. As you can see here, I have the, uh, the headlight switch already out. And uh, I just want to show you the clips here. Now there's one on the back corner. And when you look at the switch like this, there's one right there. And there's another one on the diagonal on the opposite side. Now when you push the switch in and turn it, these will retract. Okay, now to remove the uh, dimmer switch. Now it simply sits in a hole like that. Okay, now what I did was I took the screwdriver and actually slowly popped it out, as you can see, there's two clips on each side. You have to be very careful because you don't want to crack the plastic or anything like that. And as you can see, there's a similar style of wiring harness, but just a smaller version on the back side of it. So simply squish those two clips and unplug just like that. And you have your dimmer switch out. Okay, now to remove the, uh, the vent bezel, uh, simply what you want to do is just pull back and uh, It'll unclip. Obviously, it doesn't come out that easily, though. I had to uh, fight with it a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there is a clip that goes right there, and uh, you do have to jiggle it a little bit and uh, play with it uh, to get it out. Um, it's probably uh, probably the hardest event out of uh, all three to get out. And uh, also, I would also like to make note that there's, I've already removed them, but there's a torque bit that goes there, and there's one down at the bottom here behind the headlight switch. And you also have to remove those before removing the, uh, the vent assembly. Now I've already removed the torque bits that are in there on each side. Now what I found the easiest was to do was pry a little bit up on the bottom to help get the vent out. And it is a little bit of playing with to try to get it out. Now as you can see, it's already out and no problems at all. Now all you have to do is you want to completely remove it. So you have to unplug 
those two wiring harnesses. Now as you can see here I've already unplugged the wiring harnesses from the uh, the uh, hazard lights and uh, the rear defroster and all you have to do is just simply pull back and just rock it back and forth just a little just to help it out so a little bit of assistance and uh, they're off. Now for moving the switches all you have to do is push on the back and as you can see similar as the other uh, dimmer switch it has two steel retaining clips on there, spring loaded retaining clips that uh, you have to push and then uh, slowly rock it back and forth out and uh, that's how you take it out. Now, before I actually did this video, I already took out uh, the caps, the false caps that are in here. And uh, the procedure that I used to remove those was uh, simply putting a screwdriver along the side and just taking my time, uh, uh, careful not to uh, break anything or scratch anything, uh, with the same screwdriver, flat screwdriver that I used, uh, wrapped with the electrical tape. Uh, you just pop them out slowly and as you can see there's just two little clips on the back side of them so uh, they're very easy to come out.